The Hierarchs grow impatient. We can delay no longer. What if the infection defiles the relic? I care not for your little life. Open the relic. Serena, we need to re-establish Alpha Base before we can proceed with the mission. Captain, the base power system is offline and the lockdown protocol is in effect. If we rebuild, the lockdown will end and the doors will open. That's Captain Cutter and Serena. They're going to be helping us out today. Projection for new base location ready. And I'm Graham Devine, lead writer on Halo Wars. Let's get Alpha Base back up and running. We're going to bring in some pods from Spirit of Fire, which is orbiting above. And they're going to come down and seal up and get the base operational again. Station complete. The base is up and running again. We need supply pads built so I can send down materials. I spilled that supply pad and started to get a barracks built as well. This is perhaps what we consider to be the most important user interface element in the game, the circle menu. The command center is online, but it can't house marines. We'll need a barracks to call in the troops. You can see that barracks is coming up from underground, much the same way that an aircraft carrier deck comes up on an aircraft carrier. We need to establish a larger military presence on the ground. Okay, Captain, we'll build some marines. Let's start to move around a little bit. Let's select Sergeant Fortier, one of the hero units, by selecting him with the A button and moving him with the X button. You can see he's driving a war tank, which is a vehicle from Halo. Moving out. Getting the sound and feel of the vehicles from Halo is very important to get that right in the game. Marines on the ground, sir. Wow, the Covenant really did a number on the base. We're not going to be using that door anytime soon. Another way to be able to select oh, units in the game is to press and hold down the A button. It brings up a paint yes, select, which lets me paint over as many That's units right. as I want and then move them around on all the at once. Marines, so I grab those Marines, move them up towards the working door. The lockdown is lifted and the front gate is opening. I've highlighted the area where Sergeant Forge found the structure. Enemy engagement. I'm going to select all of my units Unit. by using a shoulder button here. Rolling. Let's, Let's go. move them out and engage the Covenant. Combat in Halo has a very unique sound and feel to it. I'll do it. Getting down to Halo Wars is also extremely important. Your Looks like you might hear those grunts defenses. saying quite a few little funny lines. Let's Take roll. cover of those down pelicans! Boom! On the way. I'm going to move my marines up there and put them into cover to provide them more protection. Moving up. Meanwhile, there's two Wraith tanks firing at me. I'm going to take out that second one with a carpet bombing run from Spirit of Fire. I'm going to point it, aim it, direction, and go. Enemy engaged. Taken care of. Let's move my scorpions up. Take out that Wraith. There we go. All units. Those hunters will take out my vehicles if I don't do something quick. I'm on. Let's finish off that Wraith tank. You bet. Move up further north. I brought in some Hornets flying up in the air. All units. Rolling. Uh oh. That's a Covenant Scarab. Covenant built themselves a little base. Our primary Scarab can completely annihilate my army if I don't do something about it. Base is a secondary objective. I'm going to use a cryo bomb, which can freeze it for a little while, and then launch everything I have at it, hoping to get it before it comes alive again. Great, it's down. Let's move in on the base. Covenant bases are kind of like glass houses. Once their shields are down, they're very easy to take out. There we go. And that's it for the Covenant. But there's one more enemy you're going to be fighting in Halo Wars. The Flood. 